hello what's up today in this video i want to show you the importance of revit and other architectural modeling software to your architectural presentation to your client maybe you are an architect or a civil engineer or a builder and a client approaches you and tells you that i want a building i want to start a building project and maybe he tells you i want like a four bedroom duplex or maybe i want a five bedroom duplex and he has given you the vivid picture of what he wants now you will now go to your drawing table and try to put it on paper of what your client has described to you then you need to present to him and tell him how his building is going to look like at the end of the project now revit and other software that i'm going to show you is one of those tools that you can use to bring out the dream of your client into reality so you need to bring into reality what he has described to you so that he will be able to appreciate it and give you the project to work on for him i'm going to show you how you can start with revit and start your planning until you get something like this let's go into revit now when you get into revit you are going to start your planning and here you are going to be drawing you are going to be removing adding and subtracting until you are able to get the best for your client now it saves your clients money because take for instance i am trying to create walls and assuming i am creating this wall on the site and here i'm going to be removing and adding imagine doing this on the site you are doing experiments with your block and cement that will be a waste of material and labor but in revit you experiment what is going to work and what is not going to work that is how important it is to start your sketch with revit or other softwares but i prefer to use revit let me give i am trying to create an anti room and a visitors wc the ground floor plan of a simple four bedroom duplex and by the side here you are seeing the visitors wc now behind the the visitors wc and the ante room i can have a dining and if the the depth of the dining is 2.7 it's not too bad then behind the dining i can have a staircase and the stair hall can be three meter it's not too bad then behind i can now have a guest room the width of the guest room because i'm going to have a wardrobe let me make it 3900 all right now the width can be let's say 3300 then i'm going to have his toilet here and his toilet can be one meter oh and now we can create a, a wardrobe for him 
and let's define his wardrobe let's do our staircase and the width of the staircase can be 1200 mm I'm going to have a spiral somewhere here I may not count the staircase riser now because i don't want to make this video too long so i will leave all that detail for now i just want to have i want us to have a simple sketch of the ground floor of a four bedroom duplex very simple one behind the the guest room we can have our store the store can be 1200 mm deep and behind here we can have a toilet for the maids room the maids room will be at the back although these days some people have prefer to have a small room for maid although this is not Actually, up to standard but I don't know why some people prefer to have it this small it's not up to a standard of a room according to architecture but that is what most people are doing now and let's see since it's a simple one let's see how we can give them that type let me define the depth of the wardrobe the depth of the wardrobe will be 1200 mm and the depth of the of the toilet for the guest room can be 2700 mm then let me trim all the walls that are no longer necessary for us okay I think we are almost there let's define the depth of the of the maze room 2400 mm will be will not will be okay or uh, let's align it with this wall so that for the sake of structural stability all right now we are going to fix let me remove all this dimension so that we can get a more clearer view of what we are doing and we are going to fix our door we are going to have the external door here then we have the smaller door for the rooms And we are going to use a broken line for this to show that it's above. All 
okay I think uh, let me fix let me type in the labels this is our auntie and this is visitors wc this is main launch and this is dining kitchen and maids room toilet store and the toilet for the guest room and the guest room all right there are so many other things you need to do here you need to see to fix windows to see how the external view will look like and you also design the first floor i will not be able to do all that now if you want to learn how to use revit in combination with other software to be able to produce something like this to be able to present to your client so that you will be able to win his heart and get that contract from him all you need to do is to click on the learn more button and i will show you more on how to do that thank you for watching the video and see you again bye